Hey guys, uh, Bryce here again with another video. This is two in a row now. Um, today I want to go over the bag I carry every day. So this bag lives with me usually in the front seat or back seat of my car. Um, I do not take it in with me if I'm going, like I don't throw it over my shoulder if I'm walking in the store or going into a restaurant or those kind of things, but it is always in their car or nearby. Um, I'm probably always at least within 100 yards of it. So this is the 511 uh, LV18. Um, I like this bag a lot. I've had it for a while and I have ran through a ton of different bags. A lot of Vertex, uh, North Face, Maxpedition, you name it. I've probably went through it and tried it. This system works for me as of now. Um, I will show you guys the contents I have inside of it. I don't really plan on this being a bag review, more just what I carry on a daily basis. And this is an extension of what I carry on my body. So this bag is an extension of me and what I carry uh, on me every day. Um, if you have not checked out my video on my everyday carry EDC, I will link to that if possible. I'm still learning how to do all these things, but I, I'll link to that if possible. So this is an extension of my body and what I carry every day on me. And then of course, beyond this, your vehicle is an extension of the bag, which one day I'll do a video on what I have in my vehicle as well. So I do carry a firearm in this bag. Um, you'll see later on the video where I carry it, how I carry it, all of that good stuff. Um, I know some people frown upon a bag gun, but that's like a backup vehicle, uh, I'm sorry, a backup firearm for me. Um, I carry a Glock 19 every day on me, and then I carry a Glock 26 as a backup in here. Mags are interchangeable, so it works well for me. Um, other than that, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video, and let's dive on into it. All right, so here is the uh, bag. I'm in my office here. Um, I just have like a white table set up, I'm trying to give you guys the best angle of what I have in here. <clears throat> okay, so um, maybe let's start out with the back here. Um, good straps, they're kind of padded. I do have a carabiner here. Not necessarily because I'm randomly gonna go rock climbing, but it's a good, grab handle, um, and on top of that, if I need to lash anything, I can. Uh, this is weight rated, so um, hopefully I don't have too much trouble focusing on this stuff, we'll see. Um, that's pretty much all I have right here on the back. We'll move to the side pockets. <clears throat> this one I always leave empty in case I want to put my Nalgene or a water bottle in there. On this side pocket here, um, I just keep a Pilot G2 pen, and it's not gonna focus, but a Pilot G2 pen. And then I keep a Surefire Tactician in here. Um, this is an awesome light. It's a little bit too big for me to EDC all the time. It's not a very good utility light, uh, just because of the size and the capacity, but it's a great defensive light, and for that reason I keep it on my bag. It's very bright, and uh, if I want to, I can of course throw it in my pocket, but I keep it kind of readily available here. So this is a Surefire Tactician. And then this is kind of my work phone, my secondary phone. It's a Galaxy Note 9. I honestly don't use it that much but I don't want to have two phones in my pocket, so I keep this in the side packet kind of stashed in there. All right, moving on to this back panel here. Um, that is what that looks like. I have a notepad book that I use to just keep notes or write my thoughts down, all that good stuff. Uh, I do usually, uh, well, occasionally I put my 15 inch laptop in here. It's a little too tight to go in the sleeve. So I also have down here a Shimog. Um, obviously Shimogs have plenty of purposes, but 
It also works as a good cushion on the floor of this bag for my laptop. So that is all that is in this pocket. Um, on the outside here, on, let's see, I want to turn this, on this grab handle, I have just a little uh, keychain strap thing, it's Velcroed, you can put around anything you want, and then it has like a carabiner type closure here. Uh, I just keep my work keys on here. Um, this is really the only set of keys I have other than car keys for whatever I'm driving that day. So I do have on here a little rechargeable Olight. I don't know the model. Um, here we go. 1REOS. Let me see if I can get that to focus in on it. There you go. It's a rechargeable, which is kind of cool. Um, it's just good. You know, it's pretty bright. And if I need light on the outside of my bag, I have it. And I have a Trayvax leather keychain. Let's get that to focus. Not gonna focus. And then just my work key. So that just hangs out on the outside here. If I'm going somewhere, I don't want this hanging out, I'll just tuck it inside the bag. Okay, moving on. So that was this pocket, moving on to this pocket right here. Okay, so I'll just kind of open it up, kind of like a clamshell, um, so you can see what I have going on here. This is a trauma pack, which I will go through at another time. Um, it's a Cat7 tourniquet, and then I have your typical trauma type stuff in there. I obviously like to keep it kind of towards the top so it's readily available if I need it. Um, I have a fixed blade, a Benchmade fixed blade that I keep in here. I always like having a good fixed blade on me. This also doubles as a very, very good bushcraft knife as well. So I keep that in here. And... I have a set of mechanics gloves. And then I have the bottom here. This is like a hygiene pouch, I guess you could call it. It's made by, I've had this forever, Granite Gear. I actually have a couple of their bags and I like them a lot for small organization. They're durable, they feel good, and they're water resistant. Uh, I'll just show you what I have in here real quick. Deodorant a microfiber cloth towel thingamajig, oh, crust toothpaste. I have a toothbrush that I cut in half myself. I'm not using this a lot at all. It's just kind of a backup toothbrush. So it fits in the bag and I don't, I don't need a whole toothbrush. So I just cut that myself. A tied pen. Everyone knows what the uses are for that. Burn. Two expandable towelettes. These are cool if you have never se if you have never seen them. I would check out on Amazon. I think that's where I got them. Um, essentially, if I can get this Ziploc open. So this is what one of them looks like. Um, it's just kind of like a, a dry fabric, and it's a towel, and you get it wet, and it expands to like a full size hand towel, and they're pretty durable. Um, so these are awesome to have. All you need to do is add water and you have a nice little rag. So I keep two of those in there as well. Uh, a boo-boo pouch, band-aids, alcohol wipes, that kind of stuff. And then hand sanitizer, which will come in particular handy in these corona times. So that's everything in this blue pouch here. Okay, so moving on. Well, let me make sure I don't have anything else, I'm sorry. I do have other stuff in here. Spare pair of boxer briefs and socks. Because boxer briefs and socks. And some paracord that I daisy chained. If you have not checked out daisy chain, I highly recommend it. I mean, this is just 550 cord, but if you have not daisy chained your 550 cord, I'd highly recommend it. Uh, it doesn't tangle at all and it's very easy to unwind it and use it. So you can bunch it all up 
and it, it never tangles. It just goes back to the daisy chain formation. Very easy to do. And what else do I have in here? Again, I didn't stage this, so I'm kind of cleaning out my bag at the same time. Okay, this is, so I use this top pocket here. This section has kind of batteries and lights, which is where this headlamp was tucked away at. So this is a diamond back headlamp. Uh, I love this headlamp a lot. One main reason I like it is because, I'll make sure it's focusing in. One main reason I like it a lot is because you can lock the actual headlamp. So if you see the little lock button right there, um, you can keep it locked, which is awesome. So that's unlocking it. And now it's unlocked and I can, of course, use it. Come on. Hmm. Might be dead. I think it's dead. Well, I keep spare batteries in here. And that's a good reason why. But anyway, this headlamp's awesome. It's got different colors, different modes, and again, you can lock it so the battery doesn't run out. Uh, also up here, spare CR123s in a, who makes this? ASP is the battery container company. Um, these things are awesome because the batteries don't make contact and they're not waterproof, but you know, they help. A backup kind of everyday light. This is a Streamlight Stylus Pro. Um, I've had this light forever and it's super reliable. It's pretty thin, so I can always throw that in my pocket if I happen to forget my everyday light. And uh, a Bic lighter. I don't need to go crazy on fire starters here. A Bic lighter works well to start fires. So I think that is almost it in this pocket. Yep, okay. So now we'll move on to this front pocket here. This is what I access the most and it is the most accessible. Uh, let me turn that around, but I just keep um, a lot of spare credit cards, but on top of credit cards, like AAA cards, uh, health insurance, I don't want to fill my wallet with that. So it's just a Ranger band around a bunch of cards here. AirPods, I use them quite a bit, so I want to keep them in this front pocket. Uh, a battery bank, this is a Qualcomm Anchor. <laughs> I guess Qualcomm is the smaller company. It's an Anchor battery pack. Um, this thing charges your phone a lot. I want to say like seven or eight times from zero to a hundred. Um, I've used it probably pretty close to that, probably five times. So you have two USB. Let me see if I can focus, guys. Yeah two USB ports and then your mini USB to charge it. And then obviously you press the button, where am I at here, sorry. So you press the button and it shows the bars and how charged it is. So awesome battery bank. It is super heavy though, so keep that in mind. Um, that is it there. So in this pack, it has this Molly kind of laser cut webbing which is cool, I haven't found any use for it. I used to keep my trauma pack up here, but then I kind of lost the accessibility for all the everyday stuff, so I didn't keep it there anymore. Um, behind this, there's also a sleeve. I keep a right in the rain notepad. Um, what else do I have back here? I don't use this stuff a ton. And then I just have, there's little pen holders back here. So I have my uh, laptop stylus. I don't think it's focusing, that's okay. And then a silver and brown Sharpie. Um, and I believe that is it for here. So then here are these two pockets right here. There's pockets everywhere, which I, I like until you start losing stuff. Here I keep the Gerber. Uh, tactical pen. This is definitely my favorite tactical pen. It has a, a good weight to it. I mean, it's pretty heavy. So there's a the glass breaker right there. And then of course, you know, click it for the 
pen itself, but it feels great. I've taken this, I've actually taken this specific one to Italy, so I've never had any problems with TSA or anything. I like it a lot. The other, some of the other ones, um, real quick, you know, you screw off this end and then you switch it over and you have like a sharp point or you unscrew it and you have a pen on this side. I like this because I can say, listen, it, it's just a pen. You know, I don't have to worry about someone unscrewing it and saying, you know, a sharp point that's only meant for one reason, so. And then in here I also keep some dude wipes for obvious reasons, right? Uh, so I used to have a whole little pouch with all of my cables and chargers and it was just a little too much. I have my battery pack that couples with this. I don't know where I got this, I, I believe just Amazon. So all it is is a bunch of different uh, like connectors for phones, you know, whatever you have to charge, flashlights. So you put the USB into the battery bank and then you can charge whatever connects to any of this uh, from there. So this is a lot better than having a bunch of separate cables and takes up a lot less room and I've been very happy with this and I've used it quite a bit. The brand of it is Chiffon. <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce that, but I'm gonna, Chiffon, Chiffon, you can look it up and it's worked very well for me. Um, I think that's it in here, that's it in here. There is also, on top of these two, there's this pouch that is very difficult to open. I guess you could call it a hidden pouch that I keep. Uh, what do I keep in here? Oh, uh, my secret goodies. So I do keep uh, some spare cash. It's always good to have some spare cash on you uh, in case you lose your wallet or anything of that sort. So some spare cash hides in here. I actually kind of forgot about that. All right, so that's it for this front pouch. This bag also does have this very small slit. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so there's a very small slit here. Probably can't even pick it up. Um, and inside here is the little 511 badge which you can pull out and you can show that it's a 5.11 pack. I care less to do that, but it's kind of something that I didn't even know about on the pack uh, until later. So there's that. Um, of course you have these uh, straps that you could put a jacket and an umbrella, you know, and then it also carries underneath as well. So you could put something through there if you'd like. Really, the only thing left is uh, what I carry in this pouch, which they consider their concealed concealed carry pouch. Um, and I will show you what I carry in here. So, I like having a backup gun on me. Um, I'm not worried about me having a gun in a bag because this bag is always near me or in my vehicle or whatever, so I'll take my chances. But Usually I'm carrying Glock 19, and uh, these are all Glock 19 or 17 mags, and I keep a Glock 26 in here, um, and an A&R Design holster, which if you watch my Everyday Carry holster, you'll see this same brand on my Glock 48. Uh, Trijicon Night Sights, and nothing else to it. Glock 26 as my backup gun. Sometimes I carry it, but not very often. And then in here, I have three magazines. One, two, three. Again, a mixture of Glock 17 and Glock 19 mags. So in case you're unfamiliar, other than this one mag, um, my everyday carry mag and all of these mags will work in this gun and the main gun I carry. So I kind of have some uh, repetition there. And that is it, that is everything I carry in my bag. Of course, this is always changing. Um, I will update it with different stuff, but I've been using this system for quite a while now. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I know it's probably gonna be a pretty long video, but I hope you enjoyed it. 
you have any questions, let me know. I don't think I'm gonna link to all the gear. I don't have any discount codes or anything, so uh, all this stuff should be pretty easy to find. Um, but let me know if you have any questions, and um, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.